Hi, I'm Professor Thomas Talbot. I'm here with your orientation for today's experience. Uh, this is a test uh, and a trial of USC standard patient, which is our attempt to make a virtual standardized patient to enhance your education in the future. Uh, your participation today is greatly appreciated, and I wish uh, from the entire team at Keck and the Institute for Creative Technologies, thank you very much for your help today. Our objective is for you to experience the basically the same identical patient interview uh, that you will have five minutes to conduct and a little bit of time to review your results four times and the idea is a targeted interview a medical interview that based on the feedback you get from using it that you're able to target you know be able to get more information from the patient each time you take the case and become more efficient at it and that's what we're testing today and also seeking your input in the form of a survey that you'll take at the end of this experience. So thank you again for doing this. We're happy to have you here and we hope this is a learning experience for you as well. And uh, let's proceed with the orientation. Uh, when you launch your case in the program, the website should come up, it'll say loading case. And the case should appear showing the patient chart and a picture of the patient. If you do not receive this in about 10 seconds after launching the case, raise your hand or let the proctor know uh, if you're having problems because we want to make sure you have a smooth experience. You'll notice that on the left side of the screen there are various buttons um, and we will go through one of these at a time going down and this order from the top to the bottom and then there's an end case button up the upper right which we do not want to hit until we're instructed to do so so um, we are going to mostly focus on the interview uh, and we're going to do that right now so let's experience a patient together so here is our our patient and we can greet her uh, let's say hello we don't need a question mark or anything like that or a period so we'll just say hello hi there what name do you prefer? Or what's your name? Let's just get to know her for a second. Please call me Tanya. Okay, Tanya. Um, how can I help you today? I don't feel well. I have had a sore throat for four or five days. Okay, so she told us why she's here. Now we could say, well, go on or tell me more if we want to learn more about her story. I could just ask her questions if I want. I, so she's had a sore throat. So let's say, um, do you have a fever? Let's ask some review systems questions. I don't have a thermometer, but I have been feeling hot for a few days. Okay. Do you have sick contacts? My best friend is off school. She had a sore throat, too. Okay. Does it hurt to swallow? I ask general, simple questions. It hurts, especially when I swallow. Okay. Um, I could ask about, uh, can you rate the pain on a 1 through 10 scale? The pain is about 410. Okay, is it a sharp pain? Generally pain questions refer to pain, not like is your elbow hurt or things, you just refer to pain. It's not sharp pain. Okay, then I can ask medical history questions. Um, are you allergic to any medications? I'm allergic to penicillin. Hmm. What? was the medication reaction? I get a rash all over my body and it gets hard to breathe. Oh, that's bad. I could say, do you have cough? I'm not coughing. When was your last period? It was about two weeks ago. Okay, so you get the idea. Simple, straightforward questions. Uh, this 
agent is a robot. It may not understand things in context. So if she were to talk about her little sister uh, when asking about family, she probably wouldn't answer details about the little sister, for example. And if you get nonsense answers that we expect that a little bit, it probably means that's not a topic that the patient's trained to handle. And we'll note that and uh, that'll help us uh, train the patient better. Um, we could uh, ask a variety of types of questions and uh, we can learn from that. So moving on, let's go to this info text box that shows us physical exam findings. There's white plaque on tonsils, posterior oropharynx, tender lymph node, uh, rest exam unremarkable. We do have an, a, an exam system as far as physical and labs, but that won't be in your case today. Uh, we can render a diagnosis. Um, let's, uh, let's just guess it's strep throat. Uh, submit that diagnosis. And as far as treatment, I could give her penicillin. Oh, wait, wasn't she allergic to penicillin? Let's give her erythromycin and submit our order. Once we've completed everything in this list, a report will be available. According to this protocol, you'll have a limited amount of time for a case. They'll give you a warning, say, okay, finish now. If you finished early, just stay right here where you are after you've submitted your treatment. Um, when they tell you it's okay to review your report, click on the report button once and there will be a delay and the report will appear. So we got the one of the correct diagnoses and um, what we can do here is go down and we have something for the interview. So here it gave us advice on what we can do to find out more information and then also we could find critical items, uh, dark gray items on the right side of the interview map. Uh, most of these bar graphs here don't mean anything right now, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to them. And if I click more here, that's a very important step, I'll get more information on the physical, uh, I mean on the interview. So as you see here, we have this thing called the case map. Things on the right side of these black bars are things related to our diagnosis, which is strep throat. Things on the left side are kind of questions that rule out other conditions, and the, we can learn from all of these. So. If I want to improve my performance, I look at the things I missed, the gray bars. Green things, by the way, are the high return items, and blue is kind of medium priority. So I, I've got a dark gray box here, so it's one I missed. So I'm going to click on that, and I didn't ask, are your tonsils sore or your lymph nodes sore? So that would be associated with either strep or mononucleosis. Um, I did correctly ask if she had, um, you know, a sore throat or... Um, medication allergy history, I asked that. So I got credit for most of these. And then I missed something else to rule out another diagnosis, so I'm going to click that. I never asked about cold symptoms. You have runny nose, and it gives you examples often. Do you, tell me about your nose or do you have a cold? Um, so cold symptoms, runny nose, that sort of thing would have helped. So next time I do this, I'll ask about cold, I'll ask about sore, th I'll ask directly about sore throat, or I'll ask if you have a swollen lymph node um, next time I do the case. And uh, that's how I can improve my performance the next time. And uh, when I have finished the uh, viewing the report and they say the time is done for reviewing the report, I click end case and follow the instructions for doing it all over again. It will be four times and uh, we're very eager to see uh, how it goes for you. Uh, so we can provide you with a new tool again. Uh, we would like to thank you for your participation in this event.